when I put posters up for the Queen's Hall every week or whenever there was a production there, the manager used to bring the posters up and I used to stick them on the door at the at the end of the week or the night when they were the next morning they were taken down, ripped up and put in the bin of course they weren't a, but somehow these got saved look at that one Brilliant. Beautiful, isn't it? Uh, that one's 1962, mm -hmm. Guys and Dolls, produced by the Musical Barnstable Musical Comedy Society. And this is Musical Comedy Society, and that's uh, 1965. Um, I saw all, all, these, all these posters that I've got here, I saw the productions. Yes, I saw every one. Mm -hmm. they, they had all the famous pianist names there. And sometimes I used to go and see an orchestra, classical music. It was a flat floor, you see. Oh, well, it was a dance floor because there was dances held uh, when it was built, just after it was built, and right up through the 50s, right into the 60s, dances were held there. And, um, <clears throat> you know, you had people like um, Chris Barber, Humphrey Littleton, uh, Victor Sylvester used to come for a ballroom evening, but of course um, those those were expensive. Yes, 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 yes. And of course, a lot of young people. I mean, there was a terrific interest um, in jazz and traditional jazz and modern jazz back in the fifties and sixties, and then. When the Beatles came away, that sort of faded out a bit, didn't it? But there was, all, all the young people would go there. Akko Bilkin, people like that, you know. <laughs> and then, of course, they had some of the famous groups that came, the 60s groups. And they, they're still coming there now, but of course they're all elderly. <laughs> yeah. uh, the thing is, the music stuck with you after the show, and it was very inspiring and uplifting. It was it was terrific, and you used to hear the tunes and go in the shop days after and play the records. Perhaps it remained with you for a long time afterwards. The tunes and the, the music that was performed there. It remained with it, and we were. I had a piano in the shop, and people used to play that piano, and they they play the music of the dancing years or or Merriwood or something. Like that. <laughs> yes, it was very uplifting. You, were, you know, you were you were thrilled with it. You wanted to go back the next night and see it again. That's how it felt with you. You were so enthralled with it. And, uh, mm. Yeah. Oh, so it was a wonderful period. It was a really wonderful period.